This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything about WordPress and today we're going to see how we can add a preloader to our WordPress website. Let's get started. Now why do you need a preloader in your website? If your pages are content heavy, you will undoubtedly profit from a website preloader. This issue is likely to occur on an infinitely scrolling pages and any website that has more than few basic pages. Additionally, each script, plugin and database query will contribute to your loading times. When this becomes an issue, you should opt for a preloader rather than spending the effort to reduce the size of the pages. Some of the advantages of using preloaders are to inform users that your website did not hang or crash and the page is just loading. To give your users something to stimulate their eyes or brains with as they wait for the content to load. To reinforce your branding and make an impression. Now let's see how we can add preloader to a WordPress website. For that, we will use the plugin called Loft Loader Pro. Now this is a paid plugin. Let's head over to the plugin website which will be linked in the description and click on add to cart. Now we're going to buy this. So when your purchase is complete, they will give you a zip file. Now head over to your dashboard, click on plugins, add new, click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded zip file. Click on install now. Now while this installs, let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. And we're back, so click on Activate Plugin. Now as you can see, our plugin has been activated. Let's click on Customize. And as you can see, there are several options that you can customize. Click on Display On. And here you can choose, will the preloader appear? So maybe I want to use home page only or only once per session. For now I'll keep on home page and click on publish. Let's go to background and here you can see the background. Let's choose a color. So for that I'm going to use a bit more light color. Click on select color and you can choose the opacity as well I'll keep on 80% and you can add the ending animation this animation will be triggered when the loading is complete so for me fade is okay and let's say we want to upload an image You can add your brand logo as well here. So this doesn't look good. So I'll remove that. And click on publish. Let's head over to loader. This is our current loader, but we can change that. For example, you can change the color of these dots as well. 
and there are a few more options to choose from now select this color and click on publish head back and click on progress you can see this is the progress you can choose the positioning as well you can do it in middle or bottom let's go with bottom and you can select the color and you can do add the percentage as well for me this will be no percentage and click on publish now you can display a message as well and as you can see we have added the text and we can change the size as well and the color we can choose the position you can do it top or bottom and you can choose the google font as well here you can see we have changed the font weight and click on publish Now click on more and as you can see you can add maximum or minimum loading time if your website is really heavy i recommend you to add at least five seconds don't forget to publish and you can choose if all the devices should support preloader for example if you don't want to show it on mobile click on hide on mobile or or if you just want to show it on mobile click on enable on mobile only for now i will enable on all devices and click on publish click on advanced you can add loading as well now i would leave these settings at default and let's see our preloader Now as you can see our preloader is working and that was the fade animation. In this way you can improve the user experience as well. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.